Hello and welcome to this introduction on how to build mobile HTML5 apps that also work in offline mode. I'm having a browser open on my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 running Android here and you can see that in my browser using the uh, MobiZen app and the page that is open is the home page of the sample applications uh, for TD Mobile, the product that we offer to build HTML5 um, enterprise applications for mobile devices. At the bottom of the list, there's an app which is called Offline Mode and I tap on that app now on that button there and it now opens my offline application. As you can see, it starts loading something and displays a page. It's basically a simple um, online store demonstration here and right now I'm connected um, through the to the back end um, through, wi through a Wi-Fi network. You can see that um, on top of the screen of the Android screen there's this uh, little icon there that shows that a Wi-Fi connection is um, available. Now let's assume I'm sitting in a train um, driving through the country and I'm an owner of one of these restaurants and I want to place an order um, with a restaurant um, supply um, online shop. So I open my um, customer account and then choose from the list of um, things that I can order from the store. I want to get a food warmer for $400. One is enough for me. And now let's say I'm riding the train and the train now hits a tunnel and hitting the tunnel I'm losing my uh, network connection. So let's simulate that by pulling down the uh, um, notification center here and switch up, switch off Wi-Fi. Mobile network is also switched off so there's no network um, connection at all available on this mobile device now. Now I still can go ahead and add this item to the order and I can also Confirm to complete the order now. I tap on complete order and now you see at the top of that window you have um, <clears throat> a new bar and you can tap on the plus sign there. You have stored orders and here you see and this is for, really for demonstration and for programmers to see only that you are offline now and the button that says save to server is disabled. We're using the HTML5 offline um, capabilities to detect if a device is offline. And if it is offline, then we save um, values to the local browser database. Now, <clears throat> let's say we've reached the end of the tunnel the train is in, the Wi-Fi connectivity part becomes available again, switch it on. And now you see it quickly detects that you are now online again. And now you can save that order to the server. And this data is being sent to the back end and the order is being processed at the central um, processing site that is being used in this application. Now let me show you how all this works. I have the TD Mobile IDE open now and you see the design preview of the offline application I was previously demoing on my uh, Galaxy Tab. In uh, the phone layout mode you have a layout ribbon basically here where you can drop objects, design objects onto your um, mobile phone screen and design and set properties and things like that. So here you have the, all the objects that show up uh, of the uh, that show up during the um, ordering process on one page. This one is the um, the expander that shows the um, orders that need to be stored and you see here there's the text you are online you are offline that shows depending on um, whether the system thinks you are online or offline well it doesn't only think it it knows it actually <laughs> and there's all the fields that are being shown of the order um, here is the part that shows up initially that shows a list of customers so you can filter the names and customer.name that is basically, if you look at the value bind, the, the data that is coming from a central database um, and cust.name is the array that um, basically fills this list with values. So once you tap on one of these, then you will see um, 
the screen here where you can choose the product. This is the combo box that shows the product and there's a value bind associated with that. The prod name value bind. And here you can add an item to the order with this button. And below you see the order, the items you have added in that order. And here you can complete that order. So basically the checkout button. And let's have a look at how this is programmed. I switch to the outline tab and here I have a section for the client and for the server. On the client, there's something called page events. If I open that, there's something that happens if um, when the application is um, starting on create. So if online, I'm actually checking up if there are values stored that have been stored in offline mode. And if so, then they will be stored to the database using instantiate current order items and instantiate stored order items, which are um, server-side operations. And then we are invoking other server-side operations like get customers, get products. And if there are products, then get product names, get next order number, get next order item number. So preparing everything for this application to run. Now, the next step is um, you tap on one of the, the customers and then you press the uh, complete order button. The complete order button has a name of PB store order. And we can look this guy up here in the contents. Push button, PB store orders, this guy here. This has events and on click event, if somebody clicks on it, then I'm calling uh, JavaScript functions, add to stored orders. So I'm building basically JavaScript arrays of the orders that are being uh, taken. And you see, you, you just don't have to code a lot in JavaScript on your own. You just um, call JavaScript methods and functions um, from this um, high level event action um, script. So when the store order button has been pressed, then you remember um, you will actually get to see this expander. This expander will be shown and there's an um, ena enabled bind here. No, an visibility bind, excuse me. Visibility bind stored order items. If there are stored order items, then this guy here will be um, shown. So that is kind of how the several parts of that screen are being switched on and switched off. So if this is being shown, you basically see if you're online and offline. And if your device shows you are online, you can press the save to order button. The save to order button has a visibility bind as well, or an enabled bind. It has an enabled bind of online. And the online is a system binding. That's basically all you need to do to and make that button only enabled when the device is online. So there's no JavaScript programming involved at all with that. And then let me just show you the, um, the button. Let's check the name again. PB save to server is the button. Here is PB save to server, the on click event. And we execute a JavaScript method save stored orders to server. So and that will write the orders into the database on the at the server side. And here, if you click on the server triangle, you will see all these server operations that are being fired off. For example, the get customers is building just an array of customers. It's not actually using a database here, but just for demonstration purposes, filling an array and it returns an array of, uh, of a cl customer class here. So this is a quick look at how you can build offline enabled applications using TD Mobile. Let me quickly show you our testing mode now. Since those are HTML applications, HTML5 mobile applications, you can always quickly go and compile this application and give it a test run on the, um, the local computer browser here. So it's now starting IIS Express for the web server and my default browser 
with this application loaded. And you see, here's the list of customers. It's basically the same thing as what you've seen on my mobile phone. I can add an item to my order, complete the order. You see that I have stored orders. It tells me I'm online and I can save this order to the server. So I have immediate testing facilities at my hand. If you want to know more about TD Mobile, please go to our homepage, guptatechnologies.com. Check out all the details about TD Mobile, including a 30-day trial. You can request a demo that one of our sales engineers will do. You can ask a question about TD Mobile through our online TD Mobile question application. And check out our online samples at tdmobile.guptatechnologies.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.